demand in economics is not merely a matter of desire, but of both willingness and ability to purchase a commodity at a given price. The relationship between price and demand is generally inverse, meaning that as a price of a commodity increase, its demand falls, and vice versa. However, other factors can influence demand, such as the consumer's income, taste and preferences, and the availability and price of substitute goods. An increase in a consumer's income, for example, can lead to an increase in demand for goods at a given price. Ultimately, demand in economics is the actual purchase of a commodity at a given price, reflecting the interplay of multiple economic factors. Law of Demand the law of demand expresses the functional relationship between the price of commodity and its quantity demanded. It states that the demand for a commodity tends to vary inversely with its price. This implies that the law of demand states other things remaining constant. A fall in price of a commodity will lead to a rise in demand of that commodity and a rise in price will lead to fall in demand. There are some assumptions that should be taken care of. First one is income of the people remaining unchanged. Second one, taste, preference, and habits of consumers unchanged. Number three, prices of related goods for example, substitute and complementary goods remaining unchanged. Number four, there is no expectation of future change in price of the commodity. And the last one is, the commodity in question is not consumed for its prestige value. Importance of Law of Demand Number one, basis of the Law of Demand the law of demand is based on the consumers that they are prepared to buy a large quantity of a certain commodity only at a lower price. This results from the fact that consumption of additional units of a commodity reduces the marginal utility to him. Number 2. Basis of Consumption Expenditure The law of demand and the law of equi-marginal utility both provide the basis for how the consumer should spend his income on the purchase of various commodities. Number 3. Basis of progressive taxation. Progressive taxation is the system of taxation under which the rate of tax increase with the increase in income. This implies that the burden of tax is more on the rich than on the poor. The basis of this is the law of demand. Since it implies that the marginal utility of money to a rich man is lower than that to a poor man. And number 4. Diamond water paradox. This means that through water is more useful than diamond. Still the price of diamond is more than that of water. The explanation lies in law of diminishing marginal utility. The price of commodity is determined by its marginal utility. Since the supply of water is abundant the marginal utility of water is very low and so its price. On the contrary, supply of diamond is limited so the marginal utility of diamond is very high, therefore the price of diamond is very high.